When you Google something, you think you should get a good idea of what to expect. Sometimes Google results are not exactly the same as when you get there, especially in the middle of winter. Welcome to another episode of the Exploring Photographer. In this week's episode, we are visiting Loch Morlich. Loch Morlich is just a few miles down the hill from the lodge we were staying in the weekend. This first location we visited was a small little loch that feeds into Loch Morlich. Initially, I thought it was part of Loch Morlich. I only later found out when I looked on the map it wasn't. Right, Loch Morlich. Let's try and find a shot. Beautiful Scottish day. Man. Do I need a tripod? We're well, gonna try it without a tripod. Famous last words. I should listen to my gut instinct. Just go on and get a tripod. Those words are gonna come haunt me in a few minutes. I love how quiet the woods are. Even though there's four photographers in the woods here with me, it's just so quiet. Yeah, I, I said to myself, halfway here, I should bring the tripod because I left it in the car and I was like, nah, it's all right, I probably won't need the tripod. <laughs> I was like, I should have gone to get the tripod. It's nice. It's just unfortunate the sun is so high. I want those book trees that's reflecting over there. Let's see if I can get to that though. Once again, didn't put my wheelies on. You got a nice anchor there. The two rocks. Yeah. I forgot the tripod in the car. I walked halfway here and I thought, ah, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. And looking at this reflection in the water, I think I definitely need a tripod. I saw it two minutes back. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> After returning my tripod, I set up to try oh, and get my first shot, and then realised I have to do some housekeeping on my lane, on my filters. I'm not sure if it sounds like me trying to pump up a, a bicycle tyre or me pumping up one of those devices I use for checking blood pressure. What's it called? Oh my God! Spy. Yo, spy no, manometer. That's a mouthful. I'm sure as hell butchered that. And that's not at all like it should sound. Right. Let's see what we got. Ooh.
No, no, fair spot there, but uh, I want that grass over there yeah. in the foreground with the trees behind it. I think that's where I'm going. Let's see what we got. Oh, I like this. Huh? What do you think? Just need a bit of sunlight on it. That's my shoe sopping wet now. Just need a bit more light. Put your boots on you. No, I keep forgetting. <laughs> this, this is the problem with, with um, camera equipment, yeah. video camera equipment, cutting gimbal, yeah. da, da 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 da. Forget a tripod in the car. It's not the first time, it's my third time I've forgot oh, a tripod. Yeah. It's alright. I'll put a willies on when we get a car breach. <laughs> I just want some sunlight on this. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, there's the sun, there's the sun. Sun's arrived. I just have to stand very still because I'm. Yeah, I know you're blown out because the sun just arrived. Oh, whoa. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah. It's a nice shot, huh? Uh huh. Sorry, I'm not so mad. I've got ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. It. All best entrepreneurs had their failures. Exactly. Yeah, quite happy with that. That'll do for me. I'd probably like to be a bit lower, but never mind. Yeah, well, your shoes are going to get sopping wet, believe me. Oh, Mine is. I'm going to these boots on. Well, I'm going to pack up on the sick this way and walk back. If you want to pop in here, just stand on, when you put your feet on these um, twigs to get the weight of the, of the sand, of the boggy stuff. <sighs> right. I think it was worth the stop. Um, while we had sunlight, it was definitely worth the stop. Always worth checking before you pick up your bag if you dropped something. My uh, my little blower just lost its spout. Right, I'm going to start walking back again. Right, same spot as yesterday. I'm on my own this time. Let's see what we can get. That tree of yesterday. Let's see if we can use that one. Somehow. Oh, I can't see the mountain. This way, and there we go. Because <coughs> we still got a long route in front of us. I have to stop multiple times along that route. This was my last morning before I was returning home, and I had a few stops I want to try to get to before I get home. Who else will get up very early 
on the last day and try and fit in as many stops between where you are staying and home so that you can get a few more photos in along the way. Now this is one or two places I'm stopping this morning and I've another stop further up the road. spot today. <clears throat> That's my setup at the moment. There's the car. That's the image I'm trying to get. That's my tripod upside down. Hanging on the bridge. And there's my camera. Hanging upside down. I'm going to try and get a few images off here. It's a good, it's a good opportunity to, to leave. I'm just trying. Oh, sh camera shaking. Maybe it's time to get the remote out rather than trying to be brave. I'm going to go down to half a second. Bring my aperture up to f11. Now the skies can be blown out, but that's not a problem. We'll fix that. And take it up to one second. And that, folks, is hopefully going to be that image. Now I know the photo's pretty dull because it was a cloudy day. Looking at a photographer's through mirrors, I think it's pronounced that way. The best time to redo this shot would probably be end of November through to middle of January, when the sunrise will be straight down this river. So it's actually, even though it's a, a bit of a, a dull shot, I think during a, a nice sunrise, it could, it could actually have quite a bit of potential. So next time I'm back there, I might just stay there in that area for sunrise rather than go and look for something else. After leaving the bridge, the next stop was literally around the corner at the car park. As you saw earlier, it was it was pretty dull, so I didn't have much of an option of what I'm going to get. You know, nature gives you what you get for that day. But as usual, it's... I don't have any food. The potential is there to see what's available for the future. So I ended up deciding on a panoramic because there wasn't really much else I could do there that morning. I had some company while I was taking the photos as well, which was great. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. It's rains faster than me at the moment. Eleven.
As you saw in the beginning of the video, I saw your photos of white sand around Loch Morlech. This panoramic photo was taken a little bit to the west of this white sand beach and I totally, totally missed it. I thought I'm going to see white sands, a nice beach and I saw nothing like that. But it's because I didn't do my homework properly. If I looked at the satellite photos, I would have seen that I was only in the beginning of the, the loch at the bridge where we were going up to the lodge and the first inlet where people have a viewing area. The actual white sands are a few miles up the road. Probably be going back in summer next year. So I'll definitely make a plan to go see that white sands. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, get up early, get out there, and you have to be in it to win it. And I'll see you in the next episode.